We're live with Lori hey. right now. She won the Olympics in Rio this last summer. Um, and also recently won uh, <laughs> Dancing with the Stars. Lori, can you describe yourself in three words? Uh, bubbly, comedic, and weird? <laughs> I like that. What is your advice for staying focused on your goals, especially for a long stretch of time? Uh, my advice would be to remember why you started and remember the reason why you started. So I guess why you started would be because, you know, for me it was because I loved gymnastics so much and uh, I wanted to try it out. And uh, the reason why I wanted to do it was because I wanted to be in the Olympics and that was my goal. So uh, remembering those two things really helped me. Awesome. How do you maintain a work-life balance, especially at your age? It's definitely difficult, especially because I travel so much, so I have to make sure that I'm fitting in school, that I'm getting enough rest, and then that I'm also making sure that I keep in touch with my friends and my family and, and whatnot. But uh, over the past few months and years, I've learned to balance it all out. Well, you're doing better than me, I think. No. <laughs> um, what are your top three favorite people, places, or things to do in your city? In my city, um, well, I guess like in my state, we have Six Flags. That's always the greatest. I love amusement parks. Um, I also go into like itty bitty breakfast spots that are kind of in the corner and they look really tiny, but they breakfast have the best good. food there. Always. Love breakfast. Um, I actually, I love diners. I always go to diners and home. Do you want to remind places. people where you're from? I'm from uh, Old Bridge, New Jersey. Jersey is definitely the state for diners. Oh yeah. Love it. If you could give one piece of advice to women of all ages, based on where you've been and where you're going, what would it be? Um, be empowered and don't let anybody stop you. It doesn't matter uh, who you are, or what your what your color is, or how old you are, or who's revolved around you. If you have something that you're extremely pa uh, passionate about, then go ahead and do it. And if it makes you happy, um, go ahead and dedicate your time to it. It's important to do things that you love. And I know that you told us here in the conference, but for our, our followers, are you going to go for gold again? I believe so. I mean, I'm taking a little break right now just because this past year has been a little crazy. But I do love the sport of gymnastics, and so I'll definitely ease my way back into it. So maybe we'll see you in Tokyo 2020. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.